Good morning. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak with you for about five minutes about what stewardship means to our family. We have been part of the St. Monica community since 2017. My husband, Stefan, and I have four kids. Mackenzie and Nadia graduated from the school here and have just started at freshman at Mercer Island High School. They are identical twins, and many of you may recognize them from pre-pandemic times serving at Mass here on the weekends, as well as regularly on Wednesday mornings with Father Naguse. Our younger two, Natalie and Eric, are in seventh and fourth grade at the school and are part of the newly formed St. Monica Youth Choir, singing at the Friday morning school Mass. Stefan and I both grew up in Vancouver, Canada. I attended St. Francis de Sales Parish and Elementary School, and then Little Flower Academy, which was an all-girls school run by the Sisters of St. Anne. Stefan's family was at St. Teresa's Parish, and he went to high school at St. Thomas More, which was the all-boys school run by the Christian Brothers. We met in high school uh, through his sister, who went to school with me. We were married at the cathedral in downtown Vancouver, by Stephen's family priest, who had performed all his sacraments from baptism through confirmation, and his mom's cousin, who was a priest at the cathedral at the time. We moved from Vancouver to Austin, Texas for work and had our three daughters while living there. Our parish was St. Teresa's, and when we were getting the twins baptized, the priest there told us, don't bring the babies back to church until they stop screaming during mass. As you'd expect, our mass attendance declined. So when we came to St. Monica with four noisy little kids, I was so delighted to find those little doodling cards and pencils in the pews for kids. The message was, bring the little ones. They're welcome. We want to hear their voices. And we felt very welcome. So what does stewardship of treasure really mean? I did some research and I found the 1992 U.S. Bishop's Pastoral Letter. It says, a total stewardship parish is alive. It is a prayerful, welcoming, Eucharist-centered community with a common vision. God is the source of all. Its members are committed to furthering the word and work of Christ by caring for each other and for all of God's creation. In gratitude, they joyfully give back a portion of their God-given gifts of time, treasure, and talent. So while we connect with Jesus in this church, or mingle at a Knights of Columbus dinner in the gym, or play CYO soccer on the field, or receive education in the classrooms, the real substance of our parish is our people. Together, we are the church, and we each individually contribute to taking care of the community. Stewardship is recognizing that everything we have is a gift from God, taking time to be grateful for those gifts and returning a portion of those gifts. Because of my background in finance, I have been sharing my talent by serving on the school's finance committee for the past four or five years. And this past year, I was invited to join the parish finance council by Father Nagel. It brings me joy to be able to serve God in this way, so much so, that I recently left the corporate tech world and accepted a calling from God to serve as Chief Financial Officer of their archdiocese with oversight for the finances, real estate, and risk management for the parishes, schools, and cemeteries. Could I ever have imagined even two years ago working for the church? No, but I believe God is speaking to us every day in everything we do, and it's our job to listen when he calls. Our parish has so many ministries. Which one calls to you? Consider if you can give of your time and talents to our community this year, whether it be in faith formation, helping to cook for shelters, caring for the gardens, or simply helping out with coffee and donuts after mass. All of us have our talents, and I ask you to listen to God for your own calling. The St. Monica Parish family needs more than just our people to thrive. Your stewardship pledge supports the ongoing operations of the parish, which we as a parish family are responsible for as stewards. We collectively share in keeping our parish vibrant and beautiful and alive. 
to allow it and us to continue to further our mission and ministries. I ask you, as you renew your pledge, to consider the ways in which you give thanks to God for all that you have been blessed with. If you're like me and set it up online, log in, make sure your information is up to date, and prayerfully consider how much God has blessed you and how you can return his gift with your time, talents, and treasure. Thank you.